Good morning and buona sifiwe. Today is a great day that the Lord has really done great. It's amazing that uh, now we can see the church is being opened for a few people. And I know you children, you are asking yourself, why can't you be allowed to go to church? But we love you so much and God loves you so much. And therefore today, we are happy, and so we will pray, as usual. Uh, we will have a song to sing together, and thereafter we will have a, one of your teachers. Um, he will tell you who he is. He will share with us what he has been doing, what he has been learning, and an encouragement to you, and what is expected for you. The moment that you want to keep yourself busy, what will happen? Shall we pray together? Sovereign and gracious God, we want to thank you that this is a new day that the Lord you have granted to us. We thank you and we worship you. We honor your name. We glorify you because who you are. And thank you because of the great and amazing day that you have been given to us. Dear Lord, this is the day that you have made. We can see that you have heard our prayers together. And Lord, we are so grateful and we are so thankful. Continue to be gracious to us. Continue to walk with us, O oh God. Continue to pray for our children, O oh God. During this hard time, that sovereign Lord, you'll be gracious to them. You will keep them and you'll care for them, O oh God. Our sovereign Lord, that you'll be able to guide them and to make them engage themselves in things that can help them in the future. We thank you and we exalt you. Thank you because of their parents, oh God. Thank you because they have been so good to them and taking care of them and praying for them. And even, Lord, learning your word together with them, oh God. Therefore, we commit them to you and to your Lordship that, Lord, you guide them. We thank you and we exalt you and we lift your name on high. Thank you because of your word that will be coming. We pray that the Lord will be gracious to us to learn your word and more so to know how you respond when people praise, O oh God. To, uh, just to make uh, an assurance that you hear us, our voices, you hear us, our prayers, O oh God. We thank you and we worship you for this. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So uh, we will have um, uh, one of our teachers who will be sharing with us. And as I said, I know that you will be able to enjoy. Bye-bye. See you later as we learn God's word. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to see your praises. you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my dad to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky Lord I lift your name on high I'm so glad you're in my life I'm so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth To show the way From the earth to the cross My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. You came 
from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross my death to pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky Lord I lift your name on high from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky Lord I lift your name on Hello kids, I hope you're all well from wherever you are. Those who can remember me, my name is Samuel Kibegwa. I am a Sunday school teacher here at Kahawa West Baptist Church, ages 10 to 12. And today I'm here to share with you what I've been doing throughout this time when everything went silent. And now I'm here to tell you what I've been doing. First of all, since March I know we have not been together. The churches were closed, the schools were closed. And we all went home at least to see what we can do. So for now, what I've been doing is trying to keep myself busy, trying to do what is positive, trying to focus on things that are bringing something spiritual on the table. First of all, I'd like to tell you that wherever you are, I know there are so many things happening at this time. So many children are out there doing things which are not okay. We have heard that there are so many teenage pregnancies happening around there. And I'd like to tell you that it's time for you to stay positive, keep safe, and understand that it's time for you to be able to go and focus on the Word of God. It's not time for you to go out there, play, watch movies, watch televisions, and doing things that do not bring anything good. And another thing is, I know most of you are wondering, why is this happening? Why is this taking too long for things to come back to normal? And I'd like to tell you that don't lose hope. Be strong and remember that God is sitting on the throne and he understands everything that's happening. So I'd like to tell you, wherever you are, do something that is going to keep you engaged spiritually. Make sure you do things that are able to make you understand who is God, like watching things, like watching things that bring hope, reading Bible most of the times when you are free. Another thing is, I know most of you miss church and I'd like to tell you that do not lose hope. We are going to be reunited very soon. Although it might take some time, we know. But we are going to be reunited, so don't worry. I'd like you to tell you that there is this scripture in the book of John, chapter 15, from verse 18 to 25, whereby it says that, it says, this is the command that you love one another. And if the world hates you, then it means you're of this world. But since the world hated God first, then it means you should love God, you should understand who is God. And... Uh, as I leave you, I'd like to tell you, be safe as always. Remember to follow the regulations you have been given. And remember, keep God fast in everything that you do. And when you do that, the Lord is going to watch you and protect you always. Thank you so much for your time. Until we meet again, God bless you. All right. Uh, you have heard from Teacher Sam. And thank you so much, Teacher Sam, because of sharing with us what you have been doing. It's really amazing to know that the Lord has been using you to pray for these children and to keep them safe, uh, to, to, to talk to them. And each and every time, you have been very, very important. You share your time together with them, and it's really amazing. As I said, we were singing a song, and the song that we were singing was, um, He came from heaven to... Set us free. This is Jesus Christ himself. And today we will be looking what happens when we pray. Because I want to encourage you children, it is time to continue praying. And we will continue to pray for you. As Jasam said, that we are praying for you. And we, we, you also, we also expect you to be praying. I will be looking, we will be looking at um, Exodus chapter um, 1. Actually, Exodus, Exodus chapter 1, verse 8 to 22, all the way to chapter 3, verse 1 to 12. And I will give you an assignment with your parents. Just please go through that scripture. And this is the time that we are learning on how God responded to Israel. Israelites were suffering. Number one, what happened with them is that they, they were taken to a place of slavery in Egypt. They were suffering. Each and everything that they did, 
they were not paid for. And what we are seeing is that the, uh, God was still with them. He had their prayers. They worked very hard from morning to evening. With that, allow me just to read um, Psalm 34, uh, verse 3 to verse 6. This is what it says. Psalm 34, verse 3 to, to verse 6. Come, let us tell, uh, tell of, the, of the Lord's greatness. Let us exhort his name together. I prayed to the Lord, and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look at him for help will be uh, radiatory with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. In, in, uh, in my depression, disp uh, I prayed, and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. And this is what we are looking at from the book of uh, Psalm 34. The Lord hears the prayers. Number one, we are seeing that the Israelites in Exodus, they were suffering. They were slavery. They were working very hard. They were not paid anything. Just ask your parents, how do they feel when they work for a whole month and then they are not paid anything? It is sad. Somebody feels so defrustrated. But... Uh, the Israelites were doing that because they were in slavery. They were in a place where they were not there. The number two that what we are finding is that they started praying. They prayed to the Lord. They could even go to the, to the king and tell him, Hey, we want to, can you allow, me to, allow us to do this and this? But these people, they prayed to the Lord. Children, what happens when we pray to the Lord? The Lord hears our prayers. The Lord hears our prayers. In chapter 3, verse 1, uh, verse 1 and verse 2, we see God himself sending Moses to Egypt to go and deliver the children of Israel. Listen to what Sam is, uh, has just said. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Children, my dear children, I know that you are fearing. Maybe because of the, uh, the, the COVID-19, I know all of you right now know what is COVID-19 is, but I know that you are fearing. But instead of these all fears, can you just talk to God? Talk to God because He is listening. He knows us. He hears our voices. He hears everything that we say. The, ch the, the children of Israel, well, they prayed to God and God listened to them. He sent Moses to them. And so we can say this, number one, that God's people pray. If you, are, you belong to God, children, I know that we belong to God. We know God. We know him. I know that, that you are praying for, 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 for things to be back again. You will go back to school. You can come back to church today being a Sunday. We could be expecting you, but oh unto us that we cannot be able to, to see you. You cannot be able to come to back to, uh, to church because there are other things that are regulation that are being given back. When you pray, God hears our voices. He listens to our prayers. And I said sometimes back that God loves children. And so anytime that you do even a, a, a small prayer, it doesn't matter how short it is, God hears our voices. He listens to us. And number two, God, uh, God hears, I have said God hears the, uh, the prayer of his people because we belong to him. He is the one who created us. We, we are his children. We are his, uh, his, his flock. And so he does that. And then number three, what he says, God sends a help. The children of Israel, they did not have any help. But when God heard about their prayer, what he did is that he sent Moses to them to go and deliver them. And this is what exactly what the Bible says, that we should always know and understand that God hears our voices, he knows us, and he can be able to care for us in each and every time. And not only that, he is our God. When we pray, our God is our God. Our God is our God in all the times. 
There is no time that he is not with us. There is no time that he is not God. He is our God in each and every time. And so my prayer is this, that you will continue to pray. You will continue to stand firm. You will continue to, to encourage your parents when they look like they are so down. Please go tell them, Dad, Mom, we are praying for you because God listens, listens to our prayers. God listens to our prayers because that is God himself. And therefore, our memory verse today comes from Psalm 34 and verse 4. And it says, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. Psalm 34 verse 4. It says, I prayed to the Lord and he, he answered me. Psalm 34 Verse 4, it says, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. So it is very important, children, to know this, that any time that we pray to the Lord, he answers our prayers. He answers our prayers. He hears our voices. He hears our prayers because he is God. And indeed, he does what it is fit. And therefore, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Tafadhari, and we are saying kindly, like what teacher Sam has said, please keep safe. When your parents are not at home, please make sure that if you have to go out, have your mask. Don't pray together with other children, just uh, make sure that you keep distance. And any time that you go back to the house, please make sure that you wash your hands or you sanitize your hands. Because we want, to keep, we want you back safe when we will back to church. But as parents come to, to pray and to worship with us this Sunday, we will also pray for you as children, that the Lord will keep you. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. We will listen to that song again. He came from heaven to earth to show us the way. Because the moment that he shows us the way, we are able to pray to the Lord. Shall we pray together? Dear Lord, we want to thank you that you are our God and our Father. Thank you because you have listened to us. Thank you because of so many things that we have been praying to you, Lord. And each and every time that you have answered us, O oh God. And therefore we commit ourselves to you. We pray for these children that, dear Lord, you will be gracious to them. That, dear Lord, you will you will work with them. That, dear Lord, you will continue to, be, uh, to, 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 to keep them safe, O oh God. We know that you are our Father. We know that this pandemic will be done. Because you care for us, you hear our voices, you hear our prayers, and Lord, we know that you can answer because we have a testimony that you have done it. Keep us safe and continue to be gracious to us. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you, keep safe, and continue to enjoy your Sunday as I enjoy myself as I go.
Lord, I lift your name on. 